I'm going to start with some comments to introduce uh, the topic. This is from a recent book or essays called Who is Afraid of Academic Freedom? In one of these essays, uh, my colleague at Columbia University, Akil Bilgrami, reports a conversation he had with the Nobel Prize winning uh, Joseph Stiglitz. Uh, and Bilgrami asked uh, Stiglitz, how come when economics, economists uh, never make any uh, correct predictions, why don't they lose their job? And Stiglitz answered, I agree with you, but I don't understand why you are so puzzled. What you should be assuming is that, as is said by most economists, economic is really a religion. So why should we puzzled by the fact that they cling to and never give up their views despite frequent falsification? Now, if this really is Stiglitz's view, he should be shouting it from the rooftops, not uh, res just uh, reserving it for later conversation. So here's another example. In 2013, uh, the Nobel Prize Committee awarded a prize to three economists, one of whom, uh, Jürgen Fama, uh, denied the existence of the economic crisis, and the other one, Robert Schiller, for having predicted uh, the crisis. This seems to be a strange case of intellectual you know, schizophrenia. So, somebody defended this uh, award by saying that, well, there is Newton and there is Einstein. So there is Farmer and there is Schiller. Well, my response would be, well, today who reads Newton? 